today, I'm going to tell the story of star spirits and great wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using the wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully. Very carefully. And then... Uh, dear. What the... Who stuck that weird thing into the book? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Cammy Koopa. No, you must do that. Yeah, now let's try using it. Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! <laughs> we did it! That was a piece of cake. <laughs> Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes. But those wishes will never come true. Whatever can they do? Well, I have no idea. All I know is that I'm the max of few trades and we're gonna play some Paper Mario. Hello out there everywhere everywhere who might be watching this video for whatever reason. I've decided to start making Let's Plays because why not? They look fun. Maybe I can do them. We'll see if I fail. We'll see if I succeed. I don't know. I figure I have as good a chance as anyone. As I'm entering my file, I will preemptively apologize for the quality of the video. I know it's not the best in the world, but I'm dealing with very subpar equipment right now. I'll try and fix it as soon as I can, but for right now, you're just going to have to bear with me. And on that note, let's begin! The Mario Household. Conveniently labeled, in fact. Mail call! And Ouija decides to get the mail. Ouija is the best mail collector of all. Hey Mario! We got the letter from Princess Peach! I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. Apparently Mario is illiterate and needs Luigi to read things for him. That's very sad. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Beach. And thus we're off to a party. Which seems to be all the princess really ever seems to do. Go-kart races, playing sports, parties, I don't know. Is it just me or is the princess never really do anything a princess is expected to do? Well, I, I suppose a princess isn't really known for doing much, but she apparently doesn't have any parents, so she's the ruler. I don't know. Probably thinking too hard about it. Whatever. What a magnificent castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. And we are now Mario. Fancy dancy. Uh, basic controls, basically from what you'd expect. You know, control stick moves you around. A is a jump. You know, you use A to talk to people, blah blah blah. B button doesn't do anything right now, and we can't access the menu. So let's just talk to people. What about you, Luigi? Say, Mario, why don't you go see Princess Peach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'll mingle for now. If you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it. 
Yes, because Mario is so stupid he doesn't know how to open doors on his own. We are off to a fantastic start. Truly the most noble of heroes. Okay, what's your deal? Uh, salutations, Mario! Do you know Frosty here? He's come all the way from the Shiver region, which lies far to the north of here. Really? That's cool. Your name's a pun. I like puns. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady. Just as I was told, it was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver region someday. Hmm. I'll consider it. I mean, I can't see why any... I, I can't see any possible reason why I would need to. I mean, why would I ever go there? But if I ever find the time, I believe I can find... Oh my god, is that a penguin? I want to talk to him. Wow. This castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Princess Peach Castle forever. Well, you can't. Because you're a penguin and we're racist. Good day, sir. And honestly, as many times as Mario has been to this castle, I imagine he's been desensitized by it. I mean, you go to a castle so many times, you probably don't find it impressive anymore. Hey, that guy has a turban. I came from a desert town called Dry Dry Outpost. And this castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous, so cool and comfortable. I even got a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. When I return to Dry Dry Outpost, I'm going to tell everyone about it. Apparently, not a lot happens in this world where meeting one person is kind of a big deal. I mean, like I said, Peach doesn't do any much. Who let the Koopa in here? You're evil. What is your deal? Yeah, I came from the Koopa Village, which is just down the road from here. Ooh, I just had the honor of talking with Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is, Art. Huh. Neutral Koopas? What is this craziness? Uh, another penguin. With a neat hat! I'm here on behalf of a lovely Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frosty. Ah, uh, yes. Bubblegum, lollipops, and all that fancy stuff in the Mushroom Kingdom. To be expected. Nothing bad ever happens here. Hey, you... what's your deal? Hey, I'm just a trainee, sir. So many guests. My heart's been beating like the best drum ever since this morning. Thump, 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 thump. Thanks for sharing, dude. Okay, moving on. Does Peach really need all this space? I mean, this is kind of big. She's only one person. I mean, even if all the people living here had a room. It seems a bit excessive. Princess Peach just went into her private chambers just now. Oh. I'm gonna barge in, okay? Cool, alright, see you later. You can't contain Mario. By the way, you can push the L button to spin! Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, hey, it's her. Oh, Mario, you've come to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you, heart. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all these guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? Yes, yes we shall. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany my Mario? Yes, let's do the- okay, what's that? Huh. I'll admit I'm not much of an authority on this, but that doesn't seem physically possible. Yes, run and flail our arms, that will solve the problem. Does anyone know what Bowser's deal with clowns is? I've never gotten that. No. And we're done flailing. That was fun. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Gasp! Oh my, look Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Oh, you are so paying for that. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? No, I think it might have been Wart. I haven't seen much from him. Oh, whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Wasn't expecting that, huh? No, honestly, that sounds really 
stupid. I expect much better from you, Bowser. Good lowering your standards. <laughs> this castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Uh, what? It's Mario. What a shock. <laughs> Not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do to stop this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Let the battle commence! Mario, you can do it. Of course I can, I'm Mario, I'm awesome. Okay, battle menu. I can jump, I have no items, and Mario isn't thinking of any strategies right now. So. Well, I'm gonna bonk him on the head. Boop. It actually looks like it would hurt a lot more than it does. I mean, as Mario jumping on his head, that makes sense, only one point of damage, but you'd think a giant armored clawed Koopa of ultimate death would probably do a bit more damage. I mean, looking at the animation, it kind of looks like it should take his face off. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from the Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This piece of fine work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. Bowser, you fiend. Return that to Kirby. The world isn't ready for a crossover of this magnitude. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? And he does slightly more damage. It can grant any wish in the entire world, but, uh... <laughs> Is that all you've got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. But yeah, I mean, he has a Star Wad, which can allegedly, you know, grant any wish ever. Right? And he just wishes to become slightly more powerful than he normally is. Why doesn't he just wish Mario to drop dead and that Peach automatically will love him? Seems like the smarter thing to do. And yeah, we're doing no damage, that's not good. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to s to, sorry, time to st toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night! And Peach is clearly caught in the crossfire, but for some reason she doesn't get hurt. Logic! What's that? Anyway, point is, I'm dead now. Oh no, Mario, get up! Yes, oh yeah, I did it! I finally did it, I beat my old rival Mario. Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness, that's why you're the king. As long as I have the Star Rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. So, not content with beating the hell out of us, he also has to throw us out the window. Top class, Bowser. Oh no, Mario! Ooh, pointy turtles. That was neat. about reaching 14 minutes. We're actually, we're past 14 minutes. Okay. That's the perfect place to stop. Oh, awesome music. Yeah, anyway, uh, this is a great place to stop. Uh, first episode of my first level D. I don't know how that went. Anyway, next episode, we're probably going to hit the ground. And uh, we'll see if that pans out. Well, see you later.